I'm going to do an exercise for Wright Patterson Mahjong using the 2020 Green Book. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand and then focus on decision making during the Charleston. That is when you exponentially improve your dealt hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do this three times and we're going to select a card for which player we're going to be and a card for who will be the prevailing wind. This will come in handy if we decide to play a hand where owner prevailing wind is required. For the first one, we're going to be south and east is prevailing. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? We have northeast, pair east, one five bam, pair five, one four six nine, pair six, and a pair of two cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? The first thing I thought of is Eleanor. It's a number hand, but we don't have a red dragon, which is what we would need with a Pung of East. Let's just see what happens. Or maybe we could do neutrality. If we could even get one bam, not a two or a six, we might be able to do neutrality. So let's keep these and pass those. It'd be ideal if we could get a red dragon. We did! Oh my gosh, nice. Eleanor. Let's pass these three. No keepers, we need five bam, six dot two crack. Let's pass these three. No keepers. So we have four discards. I would say we'd be a contender. We could pung. Pung, 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 ready to win on a red, maybe. I think that was a pretty good Charleston. Eleanor, if you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull one and what you would do with these tiles in the comment section below. For this one, we're going to be east and south is prevailing. Since we're east, I'll get 14 tiles and then create a mock Charleston. We have mixed suits, north, south, one, two, four, six in cracks, two, four, six in bams, one, three, five, six in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play a mixed suit hand on page 23, probably either big two, four, six, eight or little two, four, six, eight. So the ones, one, three, five would go. 
and maybe even the north. We might be able to use the south because that's prevailing. Big 2468 would leverage that pair, maybe. And then little 2468, we have too many sixes. So I'd focus on big 2468. We need more dots in evens. Let's see what happens. Let's pass north one and five. We got a four. That's a pair. We have a pair in here. We'll just break it up. Odds. We got an east. That's our seat. So we might be able to use that, but I would not pass those. Two, four, six. We really don't need one of these, a six, because we have a six here and a six here. What we really need in here is more dots. Four, six, east, south. I think I would let the six go. Oh, we got a pung in there now. So three just cards. Maybe these could go. I think what I would do is play little two, four, six, eight, because we still need an eight in here. We have a couple of twos, which is good, but we don't have a good mixture of dots or bams and we gave up a six. So I'd probably focus on little two, four, six, eight. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull two and what you would have done. For the next one, we're going to be north and prevailing is north. We have red dragon east and south. Two, three, six, eight, nine in bams. Six, seven in dots, three, six, eight in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd probably play one suit in honors. We do have three, six, three, six. That would be double numbers and we'd have to pung, of course. We maybe could pair up and play tri numbers because we have all the sixes, but we can't, keep, we can't keep everything. So probably what I would do is let one of the sixes go, probably this one. This is gonna be a bit risky, six, seven, eight, like that, but we need to optimize our own hand first and do the best we can with what's left over. We have a red dragon now, a pair. Here's an eight crack. I don't think that's helpful. One bam. I think I would play bams. One suit and honors. We have a one and a nine. This would be pretty risky. So I'd probably let something go. We do have somewhat of the makings of seven odd honors and a pair in there. So maybe Betty, and then we could make that pass a little bit better. We've got simples, seven, three. I would stick with Betty, seven odd honors, one pair in there, pair. We need two more pair. We got one. Oh my goodness, look, news. Wow, that was really, really good. We need a, red, a green dragon and a white dragon, and then one more pair. I would say that was a really good Charleston. 
no discards. We have three simples that we would use to pair up and then the other two would go away. So technically we have two discards, which is fantastic. If these were your tiles, would you have done something differently? If you would have, write pull three in the video description below and let me know what you would have done with these tiles. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange them by suit in numerical order and then put your winds and dragons together. This will give you the lay of the land and it'll help you identify the strength of the hand. Choose a category that uses most of your tiles. A good guideline is seven or more tiles to any given category in the book. Then choose three tiles to pass and take it pass by pass, making the best decisions you can, and then picking three more tiles as you go and play as defensively as possible because you don't want to help your opponents build their hand. Do the best you can with what you have, mitigate the risk. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps improve your game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.